Now we're going to implement the light box feature of our gallery and we're going to use a script called lightbox2 and if you go to this URL here, I'm only going to try to pronounce it um, and click on download you'll download the latest version and open that up and basically uh, we want to bring a few files over okay so JavaScript we want to bring over lightbox.js and we also want to bring over the CSS file lightbox.css okay um, I think that's it oh the image the images I think we already have yeah yeah we brought those over in, a, in an earlier section alright so now all we need to do is link these okay so um, in the index file, let's in the in the heading, go ahead and include the lightbox.js. And also the CSS file. Okay, so now that we have those linked, we just need to uh, add in a couple more data attributes down here alright so in the link again so we already have data title and data description for our overlay uh, now we want to add data lightbox okay and this is going to be set to whatever you want it's basically what you want to call the gallery I'm just going to call it projects all right, so basically you want to add this to all your images and they, it should all be the same value if you want to be able to scroll through them in the light box. Okay, so let's just add these on. Okay, now the last thing we want to do here is these links right now are going to nothing. We actually want them to go to the image. All right, so you can see uh, we have the, the location here in the source tag of the image. So we just want to set that to the same thing. I'm just going to paste all this in. really easy to implement this light box I, I use it on a lot of different projects all right so let's just change the image all right so we'll save that let's try it out and there we go you can see we, if we hover over it we get this arrow and we can just scroll through the entire thing okay it gives us the name down here it shows us which image it is we can go back alright so really nice and really easy to implement so that's it that's our photo gallery or portfolio whatever you want to call it um, I do want to make one more video because uh, actually you know what we'll do it now I just want to make it responsive okay so right now that doesn't look very good um, so let's go to the CSS and we just want to add a media query okay so let's see media and let's see we want to set the max width to 768 pixels Okay, so whatever we put in here is only going to take effect if the window or the screen is this size or less. So first thing, uh, the logo and the navi navigation, I want to float none. And I want to set the width of these to 100% and align them in the center. All 
All right, so for the nav ul and the nav li, I also want to float those none. And padding should be zero. Okay, now for the list item, the nav list items, uh, I just want to put a margin bottom of 15 pixels. And then the gallery list items, I'm going to set the width to 48%. Basically, that'll put two images on in a row instead of uh, what do we have four? And I'm just going to set the margin right to eight pixels. And then for really small screens, basically smartphones, we're going to create another media query, and I'm going to set this to um, 568. Okay, so 568 or less, and what I want to do is just make it so the gallery displays one image per line or per row, and we can do that by making this 100%, and I'm going to set the margin right to zero. All right, so that's it really. Now if we reload, that looks pretty good. All right, so now we have a responsive photo gallery.